Hey guys, it's Katie. This is a experience I had, I guess. More information. So yesterday this guy comes by and he's talking to me in my head. I don't really know what he's saying all here. Blah, 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 blah. And um, it's pretty interesting what happened. So he's talking to me and Christ is there and the kids and the, I can hear the kids better than I can hear Christ sometimes. Sometimes I can hear Christ better than the kids, so he uses both of them to speak to me, right? So, the kids and Christ are telling me this guy is writing writing a story on me, my, my experiences I had since this all began seven, seven, eight years ago. All this communication between Christ and all, you know not killing myself, all that shit, staying alive, all that, all my experiences. He were, he's writing a story about it. So he came and he interviewed me, he interviewed my wife and my kids, and he interviewed my innocence. So that way he can get the whole story. And what he did was, I guess he, and plus he got my experiences and write-ups from Christ, that Christ writes, has everything that happened written down. He's got that too. <coughs> so, when that happens, when, when he's got all that, now he came to me and he was talking to me and he said, I want to ask you some questions. And I said, yeah, go ahead. And so he started asking questions and he went and he started talking and he got faster and faster and faster and when he started talking, I was like, and then he's going, <laughs> and he's talking so fast, it was just like, I said, the guy's gone crazy. What's going on? And he said he's giving you, he's uh, he has to uh, sort of like a, I don't know, a disclaimer. <laughs> and it was like a minute that he chanted these stuff in my head. He was reading it off. He was reading it so fast in my head. It was like a disclaimer. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, man, just do it. And it was freaking me out because I couldn't get it out of my head and it stopped. And then he started talking normal. I'm like, holy shit. And I'm laying in bed with my earplugs in. I'm like, that freaked me the hell out. Freaked me out. And Christ does that too when he has to read. They say Christ comes to help you. He has to read all this stuff to you. And it's about what he's going to do. And all this like a disclaimer thing. And anyway, he has to say it to you. That's the way it is. It's reasons for protection and shit. A lot of stuff. Cover his ass. He has to say that. So you're, you're fucked <laughs> if anything goes wrong. <laughs> anyway, okay, listen to this, listen. So he read all this stuff to and he starts asking me questions. I can't remember the ask. He's asking me simple questions, right? And I said, you gotta talk to my innocence. And he goes, oh, I am. I am gonna do that. So, I wake up yesterday. And yesterday, I wake up yes, or, yeah, yesterday at some point, and uh, he already wrote the paper. He was just asking questions, follow-up questions, to fill in the blanks. Okay, so he wrote this whole thing about me. He just went and did it. He came to me after it was done. He came to me to fill in the blanks that he didn't, he never got. Like he asked me, uh, say he didn't have enough information about this subject that he wrote about me, so he got me to fill in the blanks. That's what that was about. I didn't know the paper was already written. I thought he was going to write it, but it was already written. After that, he went home, fixed it all up, and published it, and it's a paper, sort of like a uh, paper, a newsletter, sort of like that. And it is 16 page newsletter and the newsletter is called um, Invaluable Truth so this guy runs a newsletter called Invaluable Truth and it's 16 pages all about me my kids and my wife my whole experience he also and when he released he, when, he, when he published that when he published that, the news agency that is in St. Lucian picked it up 
and it's running it. Or no, it's not in St. Lucia. This is a different one. It's called HP News. My one of the girls told me HP News is do, did a story on it too. So they did a write up on it. Now, so I got the newsletter that he wrote. The HP News picked it up and did a thing on it. Turns out he wrote a book, or he's gonna write a novel, a novel, and he's got he's got it planned out. And it's a documentary inspirational novel. And it's called, and this is from all the shit that happened to me. And my wife and my kids and Christ. All the shit since I fucked up, okay? Now, the, you know how I fucked up? My ego talking to the spirits. I kept talking to them. Then, as I was talking to him one night when I was going to sleep, one of them came in my inner light, my spark, my inner light. It came right in, went right through my head three times. When that happened, I broke all my skins. I was exposed to the spirit world. One minute, I'm talking to spirits on a recorder. This is how it all started. Go back and watch the main video. I posted here and the next morning I'm exposed to the spirit world. Eight years later, I'm still here. And I went through a lot of shit. Ugh. A lot. So he did this. He wrote this novel it's called Next to You. Next to You. And my wife's in it. My kids are in it. My soul's in it, my spirit's in it. He didn't do nothing about the aliens, because that's a different topic. And that is not about breaking my skin and healing up with Christ. That's a different part of my life. Um, and it is, the novel is 62 pages. Now, nah, I don't know how books are there. I don't know. But it's 62 pages. So, I don't know. But... That is pretty cool. And they're going to make a... Um, he said... They're also going to... They haven't done it yet. Make a, like a movie or short stories. A video. A movie like you see on TV. A documentary type thing. On me. Kids and the wife. And the reason that's so important is because I'm, a, I'm, like a, I'm like a medium for Christ. But I'm not. None of them come in and live and chance for me. They just talk to me in my fucking head. And they go away and I close up, back in the illusion, and I'm all normal. And that's it. But what I went through to get here, now where I am now is pretty good. And I guess I'm staying here in this place where I hear my kids and I wake up, close up. And I don't hear my kids or my wife or Christ. But as soon as I pay attention and meditate, I can open up and listen to it, right? Open up a little bit. But I'm always, always dumping this energy and letting go of links and not talking. I'm not supposed to talk, but I do. But this is where I'm at. So it's not as painful as it used to be. They're not operating on my head doing everything. I'm at this place where I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. And I'm... And I'm psychic as fuck still. It's like this. I went into the I went to the res last week. I walked into the res. I bought a carton of cigarettes. And she go a girl goes, oh, debit, oh yep. So she puts my debit card. She gets the money, she turns around, she's pat she turns around, she takes the carton, she's putting it in the bag, the cashier. And all of a sudden I hear her go, like that. And I went, Excuse me? And she went, I, nothing. I'm going, what? I go, you just said something to me in native language. And she started laughing. She goes, yeah, I do that a lot. So, it was her spirit. I heard it. Just like I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's all, you see? That happens all the time, all day long. 
with the dead walking around here, the buildings, people. Sometimes I get confused between the two. And when I get confused, when I hear the other side, when I hear words from the other side, say I'm walking down the hallway of the building, and I hear words yelling, and there's people walking by, I don't know if it's physical or if it's spiritual. And it'll sort of like, I'll sort of like trip out and go, Ooh, like that. So I know it's a, the bridge. Oh, words from the other side and uh, going through Walmart and stuff sometimes is just crazy. I don't know if I, where I am. And it's weird. I'm learning that stuff. The experiences I'm learning is, is crazy awesome. It's like I'll be walking down a road. I'll be sitting there eating my lunch somewhere and all of a sudden every day I go there and eat my lunch and there's a pocket of kids yelling at me in this one area coming from this one direction but there's nothing there but a parking lot but in the other world there's a park with kids playing and they're taunting me that type of shit freaks me right out but I get to see the crossover between the two worlds right the physical is a parking lot and in their world it's a playground it's weird man it's weird I find it fucking fascinating and I make a video for it I should go out there and make a video of what I see and what's really here. But then, then how do I prove to you? Other than this is my experience, you know, it's pretty cool. But, so this is what's happening. I just want to put it, put it up there. Not that I'm bragging or anything. But this is what happened. They're doing this stuff on me. And I think it's pretty cool. So, you know, when, you, when you're up there and you die, you can go read it. I see that I'm not lying. Alright? So I'm not. <laughs> this is, hey, maybe the whole fucking thing is a psyop. I don't know. It's all bullshit. But this is what I'm getting. So. Anyway. Alright, keep this one short. Later, guys.